Uncle Bill and uh, Captain, I never deal with this kind of game. You know, if you have some hesitation, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Jeffrey Rush, and in this tiny little bit of script that I've got in front of me, uh, I'm here with Bill Nye and Chow Yun Fat to talk about our film Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. We're going to ask each other some of your questions as well as some of our own. I'll start with the first question, and it's for Bill from Debbie. What made you go with a Scottish accent? for Davy Jones. Uh, they needed something that would sound different from everybody else in the movie. They needed something that would give me a bit of power and a bit of authority. And you are Scottish. And I have, <laughs> my mother grew up in Glasgow, which helps. No, I figure it's because I could do one, really. Uh, Gore, the director, did at one point say, how about Dutch? And I, that sounded like really hard work, mm -hmm. uh, because, largely because of my ship being called the Flying Dutch Man. Uh -huh. uh, he also suggested Norwegian which was also a bit of a well, stretch. Well, they're all seafaring nations. Yeah, no, That's absolutely. Scary. They're all authentically, you know, mm. within the story. But I figured in the end, I said, I then, I was in the back of a car on a mobile phone in London, and he was in Los Angeles, and I, and, and I, I suggested Scottish, and he said, how does that sound? So I ended up doing my Scottish accent down the phone, uh, feeling pretty stupid in front of my driver. A phoned-in audition. A phoned-in audition, yeah. Very nice. I got the gig. Who would win in a sword fight? Barbosa? Davy Jones, South Fang, Will Turner, or Captain Jack? I think it's Captain <laughs> Barbosa. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go any further? No. no. We're happy. No. Yeah. Thank you. But I think on behalf of all of us, we have to say, in a choreographed sword fight, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, if they ever make a comedy as Pirates 4, yeah. they'll just let a sword fight the way we'd, we would naturally do it. <laughs> and uh, it would be just endlessly... <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> that would be very, very funny. Very, very funny. I'd pay money. I'd pay money. Don't worry, that. you have a very good double. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I have the, I have the better double. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Jan Fat, what did you enjoy most about playing a pirate? Was it your first pirate? Yes. For the first time, what first was the time. best thing about that? I can remember the first day we were in the set in the steam house. Mm -hmm. Four camera already set up. We go through the rehearsal from the very beginning to the end. The most enjoyable things as an actor. Mm. We have actors, actor together. Oh, well, thank you, you know. Uh, we were lucky, you know, because yes. we had, that was a, like a nine page dialogue scene. And for a film that's presumably going to be an action adventure flick with a lot of big set pieces and kind of uh, sword fighting and stuff. Uh, right. It was, it was nice to establish characters uh, right, exactly. through language. Yes. Yeah. At the beginning, we uh, started the first day. The second day, the camera shook it over again and again. We almost took two days to finish the whole scene. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the remarkable as uh, rookies in Pirates movie, you know, at the beginning with Captain Barboza. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Thank you. So, you and me, you have deceived me. Weapons! Oh. Weapons! So, Fang, I assure you, our intentions are strictly honorable. You're working with a monkey who is a remarkable performer, obviously. <laughs> but is it true the monkey's performance ranks as one of the finest transgender <laughs> performances of cinematic history. I, it's not really a scoop, but not many people know that the monkey, Jack the monkey, which was one of the favorite lines, a lot of fans on the chat rooms and the websites and the blogs and stuff, love the line, you know, we named the monkey Jack. Um, but Jack is in fact played by Chiquita, a girl monkey. Wow. Uh, and uh, uh, by my, you know, critical standards, you know, not since, well, let's say Linda Hunt in The Year of Living Dangerously or Felicity Huffman in uh, Trans America. Absolutely. And then Vanessa Redgrave played a, a, a male tennis player in something some That's years right. back. Uh, in that great 
tradition of, of cross-gender roles, I, the monkey really pulls it off because <laughs> nobody picks the feminine behavior. No. She really I, found her in a male. It's beautiful. Mm. I, I had no idea. Did you? I had no idea. Sadly, I just heard the other day the monkey, um, who was a difficult member on set, you know, well, yeah. little capuchin monkeys are very flighty, very frisky, very I wasn't nervy. Gonna, I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah. Uh, I heard the other day is is sadly in rehab. Oh my God! Uh, really? S <laughs> Are you kidding? S U I. Oh, uh, what is an S swinging under the influence? Oh my yeah. God! That's terrible. We can only wish her God bless the very him. best. Absolutely. And uh, well, that's tough to come back I, from. And I think Barbara Walters is lining up a, an interview. Oh well, that's <laughs> that always yeah. helps. Yeah. Which is better? What's that mean? Beards. Beers or tentacles. What's the tentacle? The squid like things that come oh, out of my like tentacle. <laughs> okay, please. It's a, it's a very good question. You'd imagine I'd say beards, I guess. Uh, but the thing about the tentacles is that I never wear them because they are computer generated. So I don't have to worry about them. The beard, if you've ever, have you, you must, you've worn beards, fake beards. Mm -hmm. They are horrible and mm -hmm. they itch and they make you want to tear your face off. So I'd go, with a, I'd go with a tentacle over a beard any day of the week. But it's hilarious for us on the set because we're in our full, you've got six Finger inch nails, fingernails, yeah. you've shaved yes. your head, yeah. I've got the dreaded stick on beard, I've got the monkey, I've got the hat and I've got all of that. Yeah. Um, Bill is basically there in a rather gorgeous pair <laughs> of grey silk pyjamas <laughs> with a little hat on that's got a, like a oh, TV man. test pattern. Oh man. It's I a great challenge and to your credit, I mean, you, because I love the study of movement, watching Bill on set, he fully inhabited that character who would be ultimately wearing a digital, very complex digital mask and you inhabited that, that big figure because you're a nice slim guy. Well, uh, it was fascinating to watch you do that. Well, thank you. Ha ha ha! Looky here, boys! A lost bird. A lost bird that never learned to fly. How does it compare working uh, on a big American movie and working with movies maybe back home? For the filmmaker in China now, they are very smart. You know, not much difference in all uh, pauses making a movie, but in some ideals of, of the story, we are, we are stick to more with our culture. Yeah. You know. Everyone talks about how Johnny Depp created Sparrow, but what was your inspiration in creating Barbosa? Sadly, it was also Pepe Le Pew and Keith Richards. <laughs> But in my hands, that is incredible. That how it that's how it came. That's out. incredibly sad. It is, it is. It's a frightening thought that's to think one I of can the be so things. far off the mark. Um, that's very funny. <laughs> to be honest, the uh, it was the hat. When Penny Rose, the costume designer, and I first put on the outfit, you know, like you, I'm a relatively slim man and I said give me all the help you can so she created nice big chunky coats and yeah. weaponry and boots and big bloomer kite kind of trousers and once I put the hat on which is wide I always think the hat on a character I don't know if you think like this but I always think it's the brain of the character you yeah. know because yeah. the feather tells you about the the self-deluding flourishes of romantic grandeur that Barbosa has about himself. Yeah. And the hat's a kind of back-off kind of hat that when it walks into a room or onto the deck, it says, you know, my mind is bigger and blacker and meaner than your mind. Yeah. Um, and we tried looking at the character with the hat off and <laughs> with the bandana on. That wasn't the brain I wanted. No, you know, This head was sort of like that. Yeah. So, particularly by the time we got to the third film, once the hat went on, uh, it, it really imaginatively came to life for me. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you to Young Fat Bill. Oh, I thought it was Bill Movie Phone. I thought you'd changed your name. 
<laughs> Thank you to Young Fat Bill movie phone and to you for watching and sending in your questions please check out our movie pirates of the caribbean at world's end thanks Thank everybody you. Your movie phone would be a very good character to play. <laughs>